Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hey, if you're new here, it's totally free to subscribe. Hit the like button for post notifications. And hey, if you'd like to support the channel, hey, feel free. You know, I work hard, try to, you know, bring you guys this content. Uh, so definitely get, uh, get the channel membership, you know, going towards this crypto bull run. Going to be releasing, you know, private content to the channel members. And, uh, and my Patreon will be um, in the works. But anyways, let's get right on to it. Um, so we got Bitcoin dipped down to 66K earlier today. Yeah, it did, a, it did a dip down to 66. I was like, whoa, how far are we going down when I saw that? I was like, okay, 66. But now we're, you know, we're back up to 68. So I guess there's no need to panic. <laughs> you know, Bitcoin is back up to 68 and that, almost 68 and a half, 68,484. Well, almost, yeah, 68, almost 500 as I make this video. And Ethereum is... Uh, still holding just over 2400 24 27 56 as i make this content uh but yeah you know the election is tomorrow we're literally one day away the big day the big horse you know you know it's november what's going to happen is cryptos um I, you know i was watching um you know uh big boy crypto you know ben big boy and he um explained uh every cycle every election cycle every four years when there's the election bitcoin you know, pumps as well. So no matter who becomes president, whether it's Trump or Harris, um, Bitcoin, the crypto market is going to pump. But I believe that I believe that the market really wants a lot of people in crypto want um, Trump to win. But, you know, I because I, I still believe that, hey, if Trump wins in 2025. We can see about possibly 150 K Bitcoin or possibly even higher, you know, in 2025 sometime. But yeah, but even if, you know, Harris get elected, hey, Bitcoin is still going to do its thing because, like I said, the, if you look at the historical data of Bitcoin every four years, every election, it has a history of going up around this time. Like, you know, like November, all through like, you know, November, uh, December. So your history is going to repeat itself. Uh, but then, you know, I just hope there's no fear if, um, you know, Camilla Harris get elected. She claim she's claimed she's supporting crypto or whatever. But, you know, we just got to, you know, we just got to sit back and, um, um, pretty much, you know, sit back and, and, um, see, you know, see what happens. Uh, but anyways, I wanted to do an update on, um, wanted to do an update here on turbo. Now I'm looking at turbo, um, you know, a few weeks back, it pumped up to a, up all the way up to a penny. And then after that, there must've been a big sell off at about a penny, obviously, you know, I'm quite, I'm quite sure people, smart people did take profits. Cause I, you know, I had a feeling that turbo was going to dip after, you know, it pumped up to a penny. Now it's, if, if, if I think, let me see, I'm looking at the, the, uh, the, the one week chart here. So it turbo pulled all the way back down to 72% of a penny. I'm um, looking at it here. And then I was like, okay, it went, it went back down into the early seventies. I remember when I last looked at it, it, it was at around, it was in the eighties. So I was like, okay, I'm going to see how far down turbo goes back down. So now it found new support at about, you know, in the early 70s. Now it's at 77. So it looked like Turbo, um, safe to say Turbo's bouncing off that resistance at about at about 72% of a penny. And now it's up to 77. It, it's, it's looking very promising. And I look at Turbo. If you look at the, um, if you look at the historical chart for Turbo, if you notice after each major pump, after, after a major pump, it dips. And then it looks for new support. And then, and then, you know, maybe like a month or so later, whatever, or so you'll see another pump. You know, you look at the history. I've already noticed the historical data on Turbo. Like the last time it had a major pump, it went up to 94% of a penny. And then it crashed all the way back down to like in the 30s, right? And then I think it it it, 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 it stayed in that support level, I think for about what, two months or something like that? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, about a month and a half to two months at that level of support. Looking at, let's take a look at the one year chart. So, looking at the one year chart for Turbo, you can see here, look, at, you know, this is where it pumped at 94% of a penny. You know, that was back in, okay, that was back in May. Hold on just a second. Okay, let me try to pull that up. Always like to look at historical data, look at the patterns of these projects. Um, so, that was back in May when it pumped up to 94% um, of a penny, which was like, about okay that was about about five months ago or something like that yeah and and then it uh 
After that, it dipped. It dipped all the way down back into the 30s after that. After that, there was a sell-off. You know, people sold it. It came back up a little bit. And then after that, it, it pumped back up to like, I think in the 73s, it came back down. And then recently, it pumped all the way up to a penny, this last major pump. It went over a penny. Then now it, it's back down again. So looking at that historical data, so I think look safe to say you're looking at turbo. I'm looking at the one month chart here. Safe to say it's ready to uh, go on another major pump again. It's down 20% for the seven day. So I'm quite sure people is buying, you know, buying back into turbo at that, you know, at that price. It, so far, it looked like it's up 3% for the day, uh, but it's down 20% for the week. So it, it looked like it, you know, like I said, it bounced off that level of support. So I believe the next major pump, especially if Bitcoin. If Bitcoin can somehow do this after this election, maybe Bitcoin can pump pump the 75 to 80 K. We'll see possibly turbo pump to like five cents. You know, that's just what I'm guessing. You know, we could possibly see turbo pump up to five, you know, maybe higher. You never know. But if you look at the historical data on turbo, it has a history after each major pump. It, it does dip because obviously people are taking profits and then it goes back down to a level of support. It finds a new low, a new higher low or whatever. And then the next major pump, it goes even higher. That's what I've been noticing about Turbo. So, yeah, I believe Turbo is uh, definitely on its way uh, uh, to the promised land. It has good, uh, perfect tok tokenomics, 69 billion coins, all in circulation. Um, right now, the market we're looking at a market cap of about just over 500 million, about a 500 million market cap. Now, when, when it pumped up to a penny, it went up to like about 800 it's some million market cap. Now it's down to about 500. Uh, let's check out the community here. See what they're um, talking about here. I do believe Turbo will, is going to be like one of the top 10 memes going into this run. I think Turbo has the potential to do to do exactly what Shib, Shib and Doge did. It's just Turbo is one of the fastest growing uh, meme coins. Yes, it is. And when I look at Turbo, man, it performed, man. Uh, like I said, I hate to say it, but it's outperformed utility coins. Like, um, you know, a lot of these low cap utilities I've been covering over the last couple of years, man, it's totally outperformed. A lot of the low cap utilities, they're just very stagnant. They're just sitting there. They're not doing too much. And they're actually even dipping, going back down even lower. But, you know, don't get me wrong, utility is going to have its day. But, you know, when you look at meme coins, they just totally outperformed utility over the last, like, year. Totally outperformed. It is what it is. You know, it's the truth. You know, these coins have just been a lot of money and liquidity has just been going into these meme coins. Especially, like, Turbo. Then we got Hoppy. Now we got um, uh, the other one. What was it? The um, the Speedy. So, yeah, man. A lot of, there are many more meme coins. That's on Solana. Do you got base? Uh, but anyways, uh, Turbo says one of the fastest growing meme coins, uh, bringing in over eight million new exchanges listed in October. And then there's going to be the um, there's the rumor of Coinbase possibly listing um, Turbo. So I think what's going to happen if Coinbase lists Turbo, you'll probably see a major pump. And then there's going to possibly be a dump right after it. There's going to be a dump, and then it's going to find a new level of support after it dumps again. And then it's going to probably have another major pump. That's just what I'm kind of predicting if it if it does hit Coinbase, you know, uh, Coin you know Coinbase does have a history of like you know when they get the memes like I like I, I remember when you know when I still remember when Dogecoin and Shib hit Coinbase the last bull run they both did pretty good you know, um, but unfortunately our bull run ended early you know because of that whole saga that happened with Terra Luna the whole Terra Luna crisis our bull run ended a little early but that's you know that's what happened. Um, but yeah, man, that's um, what's going on. Turbo's definitely, definitely, definitely got Turbo in my top five meme coins. Got You got to have this in your top five or six uh, meme coins. See what they're saying. Turbo a few days later. But that's one thing, good thing to know about Turbo. It's good to know it's, it's pattern. It's like you, it's good to know what, what the coin is going to do. You know, like after each major pump, People take profits and it dumps it then you know, then people get ready to uh, to rinse a repeat. That's one thing I do like about Turbo. It, it's pattern. It, it repeats itself like literally every time. But anyways, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, post notifications. Like I said, hey, guys, support the channel. 
you know, I work hard to uh, bring you guys this um, um, content. But anyways, um, look at what they're saying here. He said, I've just been buying the dip, bringing down my average cost till it's time for profits. Yep, exactly. Uh, but anyways, guys, uh, turbo, turbo, turbo. I think turbo is going to turbo is going to stop by the moon and then head to Mars. And now as far as the price prediction for turbo. Now, this is one meme coin that I believe that can hit a dollar. This is one meme coin that I do believe now at a dollar. OK, at a, when it was at a penny, hit an 800 million market cap. So I think about the time it hit a dollar, safe to say, that's going to put it at about a, a little bit over a two. That's going to be at about a two and a half billion market cap at two dollars. Yeah, so Turbo will be at about over a two billion market cap, probably close to a three billion market cap. But I'm just going to say at a dollar is going to be between a two to three billion market cap at a dollar. But I do believe Turbo can do it. I believe it can get that high. It just has the community and the height and this is as far as super cycle you, you know perfect tokenomics and yeah there's another thing i like about turbo there's no like there's no team behind it it, it was ai you know it, it, it was driven by ai that's another thing i like about it you know that whole ai narrative but anyways guys um you know thanks for tuning in uh let's go turbo let's go hobby speedy and all the other meme coins hey i'll see you guys in the next one uh peace